Hello, this is Kevin from Acute Data Systems, and today I'll be showing you how to create a non-stock or miscellaneous item in purchase order for Sage 100. There are many ways to create a non-stock or miscellaneous item in Sage 100, but today I'll show you how to do it in purchase order. So once we're in the purchase order module, we'll head over to Setup, and then Miscellaneous Item Maintenance. And from here, you can click on the lookup to see all your miscellaneous items, charges, or comments. But if you want to create one, just simply type in whatever you want in the item code box. So we'll just call RCZZ, and for the description, we'll just type in test item. Now once we're done, in the main tab, we can set the price of our item, as well as the cost. You'll also notice that we have various options in accounts receivable, sales order, and purchase order, if we so choose but everything looks good, so I'll leave it alone. Now, once we're done with that, we'll head over to the Accounts tab and enter our general ledger accounts. And once we're done with that, we can just click Accept, and that is how you create a non-stock or miscellaneous item in Sage 100. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please leave us a comment or contact us for more information. Thanks for watching.